What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and today we're going to be running through some Nintendo news. So first up is that it looks like the Wii U version of Injustice Gods Among Us isn't going to be left wallowing in the mud. So there's been some uncertainty and frustration about the DLC situation with the Wii version of the game. But guess what? The official Injustice Twitter account has finally revealed that they expect to release the DLC for the Wii U version this summer. Now we don't really know if we're going to be getting all the DLC that the other versions are getting. We don't know exactly when they're going to start releasing the DLC in the summer. But I guess you can look forward to playing as Lobo, Batgirl, and other characters and buying more costumes. Now in my last video I mentioned the situation with the Wii U and the Frostbite engine and EA now developing Star Wars games, the uncertainty about whether or not EA will develop those Star Wars games for the Wii U. Well, now we have EA stating in an investor call that they're going to be releasing the Star Wars games on all major platforms, whether that be consoles, mobile, or PC. So EA doesn't specify what these major platforms are, but I guess it's looking a little bit more hopeful for the Nintendo side of things for getting these Star Wars games. Now we also don't know whether or not we'll be getting like inferior or downgraded versions of the Star Wars games, because maybe EA will want to focus all their efforts on developing for the Xbox 720 and the PS4, and maybe they'll just leave the Wii U out and push that to the side and just throw throw a game out for it. We'll just have to wait and see. So in other news is that for the 3DS eShop, Japan is going to be getting a 3D version of the original Sonic the Hedgehog game that was released on the Genesis on May 15th. So since it's a 3D game, it will support stereoscopic 3D and there will be a spin dash move in the game and you'll be able to turn that on or off. And also, there's no word about this game ever getting released outside of Japan. But in other news that it looks like the Kickstarter project Sea Wars is going to be making its way over to the Nintendo 3DS because it's reached its Nintendo 3DS stretch goal. So Sea Wars is set during an apocalypse scenario and it's a roguelike video game which is a subgenre of an RPG. It will have retro style visuals and a unique combat system that has an RTS spirit and an action RPG essence. And finally is that if you care to watch the first 50 minutes of gameplay footage for the Animal Crossing New Leaf for the Nintendo 3DS, there will be a link in the description below. So I've been working on my next episode of Craziest Nintendo stuff this week. I've been like gathering information, writing the script, recording gameplay footage to throw into the video. It's going to be about the origin of some Nintendo character names. There's also going to be a couple third party characters which aren't necessarily Nintendo characters, but they've been on Nintendo platforms, so I'm going to throw them in. But that will bring us to the end of this video, guys. If you watch, you can go to GamingPixture.com for some more Nintendo 3DS and Wii U news, but I'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!